So now in this video, we're gonna look at using a light dependent resistor, you could also call it a photo resistor, to control an NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. So right now, the lamp is not at the brightest setting that it could be. It's uh, relatively easy for me to get the LED to uh, turn off completely. And even if the lamp is brighter, I can still cover it uh, with my fingers enough, if I do it right, there we go, to get it off completely. We could also use the alligator clip cover here. It's got a hole on top, but uh, in any case, you plug that hole and uh, it'll definitely be off. So, what we are doing is we have the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. The load is on the collector side now. Last video, we had it out of the emitter, and so the load plus a 10K resistor limited current, you got the voltage buildup that you had at the base, minus 0.6 volts. Now we don't have that. We have a direct connection to ground. So we just get a voltage buildup of about 0.6 volts, the base to emitter voltage, and that's it. It doesn't limit current after that. So since we have the light dependent resistor to the positive side of the uh, circuit, current will flow through it and then through the base to emitter, and uh, the light, if it gets bright enough, puts the light dependent resistor relatively close to uh, zero ohms of resistance, probably 30, 40, maybe 50. But uh, in any case, it gets relatively low, so we're gonna use a current limiting resistor. Doesn't have to be 10K, but that's what I had available. And it's working uh, just fine in this circuit. So in any case, we're limiting that current, but a very small amount of current allows a lot of collector to emitter current and whatever else is in series with it. And uh, it's probably hundreds of times as much. So you just need a small current. The main thing is we have to get the voltage above about 0.6 volts right there so that it starts conducting current through base two emitter. So we got the uh, voltage divider there. And so when it's very dark, the base are gonna see a very low uh, voltage right there. That's gonna help hold it off. And then it gets brighter, conducts uh, better, and current will flow as we said before. So let's look at it on the board. That's really about it. We're gonna use a 220 ohm resistor though to protect the LED from five volts. So we have the uh, voltage divider here, as you can see, light dependent resistor to the positive supply and uh, the 10 kilo ohm resistor to ground or the uh, negative supply. But uh, typically you call it ground if it's a single supply. So that comes to the uh, current limiting 10 kilo ohm resistor right there. That's going to the middle pin of the NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using a 2N3904. So there is the pin layout right there. And you can imagine if we swivel it, so flat side is the right, the uh, bottom pin left over here is the emitter, and then the base, and then the collector. Emitter, base, collector. So at the collector, we have the LED. And this is actually what's limiting current under uh, most light levels where the LED is on. We got the collector, or the uh, cathode I mean, to the collector, and then anode there. So cathode short lead, anode long lead, to a 220 ohm resistor again, because we're using five volts. That's about the minimum you wanna use. And we're actually getting five volts across it. So we will zoom back and look at the uh, power supply. This is an easy way to tell when it's conducting fully. So right now it says uh, 14 milliamps. It might go to 13. It's probably right on the edge, about uh, 14. And I got the lamp at the brightest setting. You're gonna see it's gonna take a little while before it goes down. I hope you can see that number just fine. So there we go, it wants to be at 13. So I'm not even really influencing how much current flows. I'll turn the uh, lamp down when I just lay my finger on top of it. But now I can get it to go. So you can see how quick it's going now because there's less light. It's uh, very easy for me to get my uh, shadow over it. So that's the nice thing about this as a switch. It turns on and off relatively quickly at a certain point. But other than that, it's completely on or completely off. There's only a small area where it's only uh, partially on. Whereas the last circuit we did as an emitter follower, the voltage transferred really nicely. We just lost about 0.6 volts. So in any case, hope that all made sense. Make sure you check out the videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching them. I'll see you in the next video.